So one of the things I had brought to my attention was this concept of Project Ascensions, World of Warcraft with random abilities being akin to roguelike games, specifically with the concept of meta progression. So I don't know much about roguelike games, but what I got from learning about this idea of meta progression is that it is essentially where the end game becomes your journey to achieving the best possible meta build, whatever that might entail in the particular game that you're playing. With Project Ascension, this makes so much sense, and I think this is how I've always treated the game, and now I've decided that, based on my own anecdotal evidence and what I've learned just in general from playing Project Ascension, I think that there really are two types of players. You have your player who comes into this and plays it exactly like World of Warcraft is supposed to be played, which is level, do some dungeons to get gear, then do endgame raiding and PvP. Right? That's the pretty typical trifecto of how to play World of Warcraft, and they do that in a game with random abilities. Okay, that still sounds pretty fun, right? Like to a lot of people, just bare minimum foundation wise, that sounds really good. But there is a different way to play, and it is a way in which I think those who have already started to do it like this have had far more fun and achieved far more longevity with the game. It is also a way of playing WoW that is not very much explored by Blizzard themselves, and it could be a very good idea for future Blizzard uh, expansions. I think this is part of why private servers like Project Ascension get so much traction from people that play retail WoW, right? Because they're literally people who play retail are just looking for the best possible version of World of Warcraft. That's literally the point, right? Uh, and so if they see a private server doing something that WoW has not even thought of doing on the retail scene, that ends up being incredible, clearly that's going to entice them. And the type of person I'm talking about for this second type of person is the meta progressor. The type of person that makes it all the way to max level, then they go out of their way to try to re-roll new characters until they get the best possible build as they can. At least the one that's the most fun or the most unique and the most interesting for them. And the thing is, there are so many different types of builds, so many different types of ways to play, that this essentially will create a never-ending loop where you're always going for the best possible version of something that happens to interest you and you might have many different things you might actually achieve the best possible version of a build and then hey and now I want to play a Soulfire Moonkin build how do I possibly min max this and make it as cool as possible for the theme that I want well time to get a skill card and this creates some pretty awesome moments where the actual open game world is still much more alive than on other private servers or on retail WoW or even classic and that's because people people have a reason to constantly make new characters. The leveling process never loses its luster, and I think this is further enforced by those who actually enjoy high-risk PvP, um, because then they get that extra element of every single day I log in and I get a brand new experience leveling from 1 to 70, PvP from 20 to 70 with random people with random builds, anything could happen. I could get something crazy that lets me destroy someone, but somebody could also come out of nowhere and destroy me with some crazy build that they random to or because they got a Wind Fury skill card, right? And you know, all the more power to them. It makes dying feel less bad when you look at it like that. So I think the traditional way of playing, right, where you you just go from 1 to 70 on one character with one build and you just try to make it work or you quit if it sucks, obviously the people who look at it like that, they're not having as much fun and I don't think that's the best way to play. I think the best way to play Ascension in 2020, especially with the wild card mode that just came out with the most recent season, is with this concept of meta progression in mind. Don't re-roll at level 1 constantly going for the best build. Re-roll to 70 constantly and get those seal cards. Mail those seal cards to your alts, right? And a seal card, if you don't know, is an ability. You can have one per character. So it's any ability in the game at random. You can have one per character, and it guarantees that your brand new character gets that ability. There are some abilities, in fact, most abilities, you cannot choose yourself. So being able to guarantee something that could be key or integral for your build to work, maybe an ability that somebody else who went for your build did not get, this puts you at a ginormous advantage against people who are less efficient, right? So this race for efficiency, this meta progression, I think it's the best way to play Ascension, and I cannot wait to make more characters, new builds, get more skill cards, and get the most efficient version of a build that I can possibly get. I, I gotta be honest, guys, I'm having so much fun with Project Ascension Season 5, and I appreciate all the support, I appreciate you guys watching me, and I just wanted to go over this idea, because I really do think Modern World of Warcraft could do a lot of good by 
putting these ideas into practice by maybe quitting with their very traditional, very archaic ideas of how World of Warcraft should be played, or maybe the experience just wasn't different enough. But nonetheless, I think it's a really awesome thing. I love it. Meta progression, guys. Project Ascension. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Big Doubles out.